What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe where we're going to go back and take a look at an old weapon and update its build. In this one we're going to take a look at what I like to call the AK-47 of Warframe and that is the Staticor. The Staticor throws balls of radiation, deals 44 damage a shot on a standard projectile, however that doubles with the charged attack, it takes 3 seconds to charge. But that's only on a direct impact by the projectile. Each projectile will explode with an 8 meter AOE explosion, dealing 176 damage on an uncharged shot, once again double on the charged shot, dealing 352. Supporting stats are properly nice, though 14% crit doesn't sound enough for a crit build, but because of how strong the, crystal, the pistol crit mods are, more than enough for a crit build to be the strongest available, especially with the 2.2 times damage multiplier. The 45 round magazine means you can spam to your heart's content, and the 1.5 second reload helps with that spam ability as well. There's a couple of downsides to the static core though. The slow charge speed means you're going to want to focus around the charge attack. Um, well, if, you're, if you want to focus around that start charge attack, you're going to need some speed mods on here. Plus, the actual projectile speed is really rather slow, so you are actually going to have to get used to that. But, it, it, you know, it's, it's actually kind of amazing. You can actually keep up with the projectile just by parkouring. That is how slow it is. Although, thankfully, it doesn't do any self-damage, which is nice, so you don't have to worry about parkouring into your explosion. And that is definitely, definitely very nice. So in terms of modding the Satacore, how did I decide to do it? Well, it comes with a dash polarity normally, but I've added five former, which actually gives this a grand total of five Vs. So in terms of the actual, like... The, the way we're going to build it is going to be pretty much for a crit build. 14% doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it actually works out very nicely. So we're going to whack in there, Hornet Strike for damage. We're going to go Barrow Diffusion for multi-shot. Then we're going to go with Lethal Torrent down here. That will make sense a little bit later. Um, but that's going to be for multi-shot and fire rate. Makes it fire much, much nicer. And then we're going to go with the Prime Pistol Crit Mods. Prime Pistol Gambit. It brings us up to 40% crit chance, which is more than enough for a crit build to work well. And prime target cracker for crit, uh, crit damage. Then basically what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go for our elementals. Now one build I did actually really enjoy using while I was playing with this was a radiation and viral build. So we're going to go with pistol pestilence, we're going to go with frostbite and jolt. Which is actually going to give us uh, viral radiation and electricity. Now this works really, really nicely for if you're using a melee with like quick melee um, and condition overload. This can spread lots of procs in that like that eight meter radius, 98% status as well. Means you're going to be proccing pretty regularly, which is really, very, very nice. Really like it a lot. Very, very strong for proccing that condition overload. If you want to focus more on maybe the viral damage. Uh, you can also replace Jolt with Pistol, uh, with Pathogen Round, sorry. And then you've got massive amounts of viral, uh, viral damage as well as the radiation. So if you're running four corrosive projections against the Grenier, this works really, really nicely. But the best build I found for this was actually recommended to me by Simul in my Discord. Um, where we're going to just remove everything from here. We're going to move Lethal Torrent across. And then we're going to go with Gas, which is in here somewhere it's going to be why can't I never remember the element the uh, things pistol pestilence and scorch and then we're going to go with the primed expel mods now as I explained a little bit uh, later on in the uh, video it's because the primed expel mods have a double sort of like a double effect they affect not only the elemental they affect the base damage as well so you have effectively like a double scaling effect going on here with the toxin procs that come from the gas procs. And this means that honestly this sh absolutely shreds just about anything without armor. However, that, that, you know, that's not going to help you against Grenier or um, the Cor uh, Corrupted if you're not running Corrosive Projection, right? Well, honestly, you can switch this out and you can either go, well, Prime Dex well, um, Corrupted. And then what I end up doing is I switch out Scorch for Jolt over here. And this Corrosive and Radiation build shreds heavy gunners. It shreds your bombards. It is absolutely brilliant. 
And that works with the Expel Corrupted and Expel Grenier for absolutely just, just nuking them down. It is a very, very strong build and one that I like a lot. But this is my favourite build, and honestly, this is the one that I run for um, for the arbitrations. So if I know I'm up against Corrupted, or if I know I'm up against, you know, Corpus, I'm gonna switch things around. Gonna make sure I come into the into the mission with like the best like setup possible, like the gas and radiation. Radiation works incredibly well against the robotics. Gas works incredibly well against anything fleshy. And then with Primed Expel mod, because you know what you're going to be fighting. So this is a, and it is honestly, it is a beast for arbitrations. Absolutely incredible. And honestly, this is by far the best build for them. So what do I think of the static core? Is it worth going back to if you've kind of forgotten it exists? Oh yeah, it's absolutely worth it. It's absolutely incredible. The damage it puts out is rather, rather amazing, especially if you're modded for that gas build. The reason that's so strong is that the gas proc is affected only by toxin mods and base damage mods. Well the thing about the bane mod is it affects both base damage and elemental damage on a weapon. So it has a kind of double effect on the toxin tick from the gas proc. As you can see in the footage now, it melts high level corpus with ease. And even if you stick on a corrosive build against a certain faction, like I do against these grenade bombards here, it melts them too. The static core's a bit of a hidden gem, the one that people kind of forgotten about, although it is kind of gaining popularity again at the moment. But honestly, I think it's the best weapon for arbitration. Why is that? Well, that's why I call it the AK-47. AK-47, the very best there is. When you absolutely, positively got to kill every motherfucker in the room, Except no just substance. fire at groups of enemies that are surrounded, protected by the drone. You destroy the drone and then the group afterwards with so much ease. That explosion just wipes out entire groups at once. As you can see in the footage, even through floors and walls and everything. In terms of straight up killing, this thing is amazing. You take into account the radiation props too, the crowd control, and it gets kind of nutty. Add a Mirage into the mix, and yeah, you can just straight up wipe entire rooms at once. It is definitely worth going back and checking this thing out again. It's incredible. Probably turned into my new favourite secondary. It's so versatile, and deals with everything I throw against it with ease. It, it's worth the revisit, and worth the former. You are definitely, definitely not going to regret it. So I hope you enjoyed my look at the new improved Saticore. It got buffed with the secondary changes a few months back and I didn't really double check it, but I'm so glad that I did. Now, I've got more Warframe videos coming soon and Fortuna, with a bit of luck, should launch next week. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. I thank you all so much for watching this video and the support you will give me, and I shall catch you in the next one.